The history of the Jews in Haiti is a rather long and complex one, as it stretches from the very beginning of the European settlement on the new island. As of 2013, the Jewish population is around 25 predominantly in Port-au-Prince. History The first Jewish settlement In 1492, the first Jew to ever set foot in Haiti was Luis de Torres, an interpreter for Christopher Columbus. After Haiti was taken over and colonized by the French in 1633, many Dutch Jews whom many were Murano emigrated from Brazil in 1634 and became employees of the French sugar plantations and further developed the trade. In 1683, the Jews were expelled from Haiti and all of the other French colonies, due to the Code Noir Black Code, which not only restricted the activities of free Negroes, but forbade the exercise of any religion other than Roman Catholicism it included a provision that all slaves must be baptized and instructed in the Roman Catholic religion, and in turn ordered all the Jews out of France's colonies. However, despite the Black Code, a limited number of Jews remained in French trading companies as leading officials, including foreign citizens Dutch, Danish, or English or holders of special residence permits These Jews specialized in agricultural plantations. Portuguese Jews from Bordeaux and Bayonne settled mainly in the southern part of Haiti Jacmel, Jeremy, Le Gain, Les Cailles, Petit Gove, and Port-au-Prince and Jews from Curaçao settled in the northern part Cap Haitian, and St. Louis. However, in the mid-1700s, many Jews returned to Haiti and were later murdered or expelled during the slave revolt led by Toussaint Louverture in 1804, as many Jews also arrived from civil strife in Poland with the invading Russia, Prussia and Austria. Due to a lack of Sunday school and Jewish community centers, many youth did not grow up with a Jewish education and had to hide their Judaism because only Catholics were permitted to attend public school. Many Jews preferred to settle on the coastline, in port cities as many Jews were involved in commerce and trade establishing communities in major industry centers. Recently, archaeologists have uncovered an ancient synagogue of crypto-Jews in the city of Jeremy, the only one found on the island. Several Jewish tombstones have also been found in port cities such as Cap Haitian and Jacmel. Approximately 30 Jewish families by the end of the 19th century have arrived from Lebanon, Syria, and Egypt. A law in France was passed during this period that gave French citizenship to minorities in the Americas, thus many Jews from the Middle East felt secure emigrating to Haiti. These Jews in particular, brought with them their many Sephardic customs and traditions. Modern times In 1915, during the United States occupation of Haiti, roughly 200 Jews lived in Haiti at the time. During the 20 years period of occupation, many Jews left Haiti for the United States and South America. In 1937, Haiti was responsible for saving about 70 Jewish families an estimated total of up to 300 lives during the Holocaust according to the American Jewish Joint Distribution Committee, by issuing passports and visas to Jews escaping Nazi persecution. Some were Austrian Jews, Polish Jews, German Jews, and a trickle of Romanian Jew and Czech Jewish descent. While these numbers are not as high as the number of Jewish families that Oskar Schindler helped save, a life as a life as Haiti played a small, yet critical role in saving Jewish lives during the darkest chapter in the Jewish story unfortunately, though, it seems that more Jews were unable to acquire visas to Haiti due to the cost. Professor David Bankier, of the Institute of Contemporary Jewry at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, said that after 1938, the cost of a visa was outrageous. If you wanted to go to Haiti, you had to pay $5,000. Haiti at the time, was still unfairly paying reparations on an exorbitant debt with interest fees to France after the Haitian Revolution that could have hindered their efforts to continue issuing these visas for free. There were others apart from this bunch who never came to Haiti at all, but from Germany they were given Haitian passports by the Haitian government that allowed them to flee Germany and into other countries. Grateful to the Haitian government, many of these European Jews stayed in Haiti until the late 1950s in which many Haitian Jews left, so that their children could marry other Jews and not assimilate, while finding better economic opportunities. The 1957 Jewish population of Haiti was about 200. The mid-20th century was a time where a continued departure of Jews from Haiti for the United States and Panama because of the economic conditions and civil violence in the country. 
Topic Judaism Today, the Jewish community is led by Rabbi Douglas Lapin, a local businessman. The Jewish community is known as the Consistoire de Haiti and has been recognized as the representative of the Jewish community by the Haitian Ministry of Religion Ministère des Cultes. Rabbi Lapin has likewise been recognized as the rabbi in Haiti by the Haitian government. The community is very small and mostly consists of UN, NGO, and diplomatic personnel, although there are a small number of Haitian Jewish families. The community does kosher chicken slaughtering and has occasional gatherings for Jewish festivals such as Sukkos and Purim. There is also an esrig, myrtle and willow plantation to supply local needs for Sukkos. The community is working on developing a synagogue and community center. There is a complete library of Jewish liturgical books Sephorim, Megillah's Esther and Sefer Torah. Topic business The 1960s was a time of wealth and high hopes of large future development for Haiti. At the time met many family Jewish names such as, Alvarez, Cardozo, Cohen, Dreyfus, Goldman, Hakim, Hillel, Khan, Monsanto, Pereira, Salzman, Silveira, and Wiener, which most had forgotten their ethno-religious backgrounds. Today, less than a hundred Jews remain in Haiti on its 9.5 million inhabitants, however, the Wieners coffee exporters and the Salzmans refugees from Austria are still today relevant in trade. Topic Notable Haitian Jews David Aides, political writer for Le Nouveliste Daniel Kidar, businessman, co-founder of Prodev Elizabeth Silvera, president of the Foundation Haiti Solidarite FHS, Eric Andre actor, comedian and television host Gaston Michel, local tourism official Gilbert Biggio, businessman billionaire of Syrian descent and Israeli honorary consul in Haiti Kenneth Aides, financial service provider Luis de Torres, one of the first Jews to settle on Haiti, and also Christopher Columbus's interpreter Monique Biggio, shareholder of Promo Capital Monique Payon, fine jewelry designer Reuven Biggio, founder of Phi Foundation Apuia Education, Robin Padberg, CEO of telecommunications company Voila in Haiti, Rudolf Dana, CEO of Transac Sa Sol, is a musician of Russian descent. Topic see also Haiti Israel relations. Topic references. Topic further reading Martin K. Guadeloupe, Haiti, M. Arbel. Jewish Settlements in the French Colonies in the Caribbean Martinique, Guadeloupe, Haiti and the Black Code in Jews and the Expansion of Europe to the West 2001 AKN Les Juifs dans les Colonies Françaises au XVIII siècle in Revue des Etudes Juves 4 1882 127 to 45 238 to 72 The Jewish Nation of the Caribbean pp. 288–297. Jews and the Expansion of Europe to the West, 1400–1800. pp. 304–308. RARA, Voodoo, Power, and Performance in Haiti and its Diaspora, Vol. 1. pp. 131–133. Encyclopedia Judaica, Vol. 9. pp. 239–240. A Look into Haiti's Tiny Jewish Community. The Jerusalem Post. Retrieved 19 October 2014. Antisemitism Without Jews, in Haiti, A Short Journey into Myth, Memory and Nightmare. The Washington Post. Retrieved 19 October 2014. Subscription required. Haiti's Jewish Remnant Keeps the Faith and Lends a Hand Amid the Crisis. The Jewish Daily Forward. 20 January 2010. Retrieved 19 October 2014. Haiti's Jews Try to Pick Up the Pieces. Jewish Telegraphic Agency. Retrieved 19 October 2014. Bernard, Joseph Jr. Histoire Juve de Haiti. Port au Prince, Editions Henri Deschamps, 2012. External links 1. Haiti, Israel, and the Jews, World Jewish Congress by Mordecai Arbel 2. Haiti's few Jews hold on to history 3. Early Haitian Jewish history 4. Voodoo Rock and Cherry Manischewitz, Reflections of a Jew Visiting Haiti 5. Jewish and Kosher Haiti